What's up guys, my name is Nothing Just Go. Welcome back to more Paper Mario. Last episode, you could see we got a new party member, the, the Lakitu that's following us behind us, who I love personality-wise and plot-wise, but I don't really like gameplay-wise. Hopefully we can get some super blocks to juice him up a bit, but for now he's kind of sucky. We probably won't use him too much in battle, seeing as we've shown off everything of, of his already. Anyway, let's talk to you. The lack of sunshine completely robs us of our vigor. If these clouds continue, we'll all likely weather up. If only I could move around, I'd take a journey to the sun tower to cheer- Oh wait, you've already said that already. Anyway, wait, why did I just say redundant sentences redundantly? Anyway, nope, wrong way. Wait, is this the wrong way? Nope, it's the right way. So here we got a bit of a puzzle we couldn't do before, but now with luck of Lester, sorry, I've been calling him Spike by impulse, we can do it. Basically, by a ground pounding certain things, you can cause one thing to lower and another thing to raise up. And you can go around completely figuring this out by trial and error, but there's a much more interesting way to do this. So I kind of haven't really been showing up Merlin's fortune teller because I haven't really needed it at all. But now, I think we will use it for once. It's kind of cheating, but I've always do this when I was a kid to save me the headache of actually figuring out the puzzle myself, because you'll see what's about to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's pretty much just your standard magician stuff, kind of like the cars, how like they made like a flashy show with the crystal ball uh, glowing. Instead, you get this here with kind of kind of weak animations with the dots and stuff, but it's, it's an old game, I, I don't fault it. I'm not gonna be too nitpicky on a 20 year old game. I can see you trying to clear the arrow cloud. You search in vain of the sun, hurrying beneath the dark clouds. We've already done that. The sun trapped by menacing sky cannot rise. He tells you important news. A cloud rider st Yeah, we've done that already. Basically, if you ever get stuck, you can go to Merlin. He gives you cryptic hits on what to do, but I've known how to do everything. With these said, you stomp on the order color blocks in the correct order. And here we go. Here is the correct order. So, that's a trick. If you want to know how to figure out the puzzle, all you do is just go to Merlin. And it'll tell you and just write it down on your phone or anything. I remember as a kid, I'd have to use a piece of paper and pencil because we didn't have phones back then. Man, I feel old. So, excuse me, I'm just going to write this down and I'll meet you guys there. By write, I mean type because I don't use pen and paper anymore. Who does that? And voila, we have done it thanks to our skills detection, whatever, our detection skills. And by that, I just mean, um... Using Merlin. Anyway, that's enough of you, Lucky Lester. Go, go back into your corner. Oh no, I didn't mean to get Koops. Good thing we have the Quick Change badge. And I think this, I know I said before that was the last Magic Koopa, but I think this is the last Magic Koopa. So now we will tattle you. This is a yellow Magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. Yellow is the new black, didn't you know? I thought orange was. Max HP 11, attack 3, defense 0. He can use magic to give his companions an electric charge. Well, his cohorts are electrified. Don't attack them directly or you'll be in for a shocking surprise. Man, I made that pun so many times. Why you gotta steal my thunder, Goombario? Anyway, I guess we'll just jump on you and hopefully you don't miss. Okay, good. We got the six damage in, so that's good. And again, I really wish the zap tap would affect these guys. It'd make it things so much easier. And okay, good. He's gonna... I mean, bad. That's not good. Why am I saying bad? I guess what we'll do here, since it's electrified, we'll just switch to what and... Use it because I don't think walk can be affected by electricity because it makes sense because he is electricity and that takes care of you And now uh, what do we want to do here? Um, I think we'll go after the magic Koopa now I just want to get rid of one of the rough puffs because they do quite a bit of damage But if we let the magic Koopa around for last it'll just run like a little bitch. So we'll do that and um, uh, I'm, I'm not using really any star power or anything because I'm saving that for something coming up soon Okay, if we miss- okay, cool, the curse is activating even though we didn't need it. Thanks, curse! It's not even a good backup thing because of the fact that we are going to- If we screw it up, we're gonna do zero anyway. So it's not even a backup thing if we miss it. And I'm so stupid. Why haven't been- why haven't I been using, um... What? Oh, shoot, I think I pressed the wrong thing. Oops, I meant to do the power shock. 
I'm so stupid. I said I've been holding off on using like flower power and stuff, even though we're about to get a level up. Wow, I'm dumb. Okay, hopefully we don't screw this up. And thanks. To oh, cool. Because of the zap tap badge, we don't take damage from it. I guess that makes sense. And good, we press the right thing this time. Not like it matters. Even though we screwed it up last time, I didn't really do anything because it would have lived anyway. And now it's time for a level up. Yay. So I'm going to do BP this time because I want to get that Mega Smash on right away. Oh god, that thing is running after me. And then we won't upgrade BP for a while. Besides, there's not really anything else I want to equip now anyway. And we don't need Power Smash anymore. Let's get rid of that and we'll put on something else instead. But what do I want to equip? You know what? I said I was going to do this a long time ago, but I never ended up doing. But I'm going to put back on... I took a Power Jump because we have the Mega Smash. And I'm going to put on Power Bends because that could be useful for stuff later on. So then we'll fight this guy. Oh my god, you're so useless, Lucky Lester. I thought you'd do three. You only do two. I should have freaking used Parakari. Ugh, whatever. We'll just finish them off next turn. Thank you for making me take all that damage for nothing anyways. And I know I said I was conserving um, FP and star points and stuff, but I think I'd rather do that than take, like, all the damage that I just took because of freaking Lucky Lester not being able to do his freaking job. Then again, he is not upgrading. He is not upgraded, so I can't fault him for sucking too much. But, like, I just... Paracari just does the AOE thing, and Sushi does that better too. And they don't, they do, um, even though they're fully upgraded, they'll still do more with their AOE than, uh, uh Lucky Lester does. Anyway, so we we're gonna equip, we're gonna, um, upgrade Lucky Lester so he's not just a slight bit useless, he's, he's a little bit more useful now. In one second. Okay, let's just go forward anyway. Okay, oh, I thought there would be, I thought the end would be here, but it's not. Oh, cool, another, another locket too. Let's see if we can get it, but I don't think it can. We'll just let it follow us. I don't feel like battling a bunch of spinies and wasting FP and shit like that happening. God damn it! Okay, we want to get around it. I'm not going to fight the locket twos. They'll only give me one star point anyway, or maybe two. And now we are here. And what we're going to do is we can talk to these guys and annoy them. But instead, we're going to smash their machine because that's what we came for. Hey, stop that. The pop-up machine is extremely delicate. You might break it. I'm going to ignore you and do it again. I said, don't hit it. Don't you realize that if the pop-up machine breaks, we won't be able to make clouds and blue skies will return? You think it's easy to fill the sky with clouds? Oh, oh my, you're my, Mario. So yeah, the reason why I was saying to save, I wanted to save my stuff is because I knew this boss fight was coming. But honestly, it's really just a combination of enemies we fought before at once. And I'm pretty sure we fought like a much more deadlier combination before. Then again, we didn't fight like three mini bosses at the same time. And a magic Koopa, usually just a common enemy. But anyway, I think Paracari should be able to finish them off in one turn. Or I could show off... You know what? No, I'm going to show... Uh, this is more fun. I'm going to show off uh, Lucky Lester's new attack. It's pretty much just watch the, it's pretty much a sushi's thing, but increases evasiveness instead of defense. And hopefully he'll actually die stuff. So I will actually better show it off. Okay, no. Okay, or Lucky Lester, are you gonna be completely useless? Please don't be useless. Come on, at least this one missed. Please this one. Yeah, okay, there. There we go. But it, was, it may just be the pretty lucky badge, but I doubt it. Anyway, so I guess we'll just finish them off now. Enough shenanigans. Let's not use Lucky Lester, because Lucky Lester saved us a whole grand total of three. And we'll just use Parakari's attack to off them at once. Okay? Now let's do Air Raid. Unless we mess it up. But this one's actually easier to use than Bow Smack. And we did mess it up a little bit. But thankfully our party members don't have all or nothing. And oh man, five star points. So exciting. Ah, retreat boys. He beat us. But good. Wow, terrible guards you are. Just because you got beat up, you're going to let your machine be guarded and Huff and Puff's plan completely defeated. And cool, we have two party members at the same time. Bah! Ha ha ha! Look at those chumps run away! All right now, Mario, we better do something about that pop-up machine. Huh? Now we're gonna bonk you and cause everything to die! Die, 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 die! Oh no, I think we have to, we have to go around in different parts to do it. We can't just smash it all at once. And now we're gonna bonk it here. No, that won't work. Well, whatever, we'll just bonk it here. And then this last thing should finish it off.
helping folks feels good. I could get used to this, man. Mario, what are you doing next? I'll follow you anywhere, Lenny Face. Not like I really need you. Actually, I do need him. Anyway, so now the music is a lot more pleasant now. Still kind of whatever. Doesn't make up for the shitty music before. But it's a bit more bearable now. So that's uh, that's at least nice. I'll be quiet so you can listen. Or I'll get interrupted by a battle. Okay, whatever. I'll just get rid of these. And then I'll be able to be quiet so you can listen to the new music. Yay. And we'll show up Mega Smash eventually. Not quite yet. No, probably not even in this chapter we'll be able to get a chance to show it off. But we will show it off eventually. I promise. Okay, let's get- Okay, nope. More getting hit by spinies. Thanks. Oh my god, are we gonna die? That would just suck. Okay, let's just escape because before we friggin' die- first Oh, no. Nope. At least we didn't, they didn't get a first strike this time. Break away! First no, I don't- ah! Okay, I actually caved and ran from a battle so we can get the invincibility frames to get away. Plus, I didn't have any as much FP anymore to use Power Quake. And I didn't want to risk, like, taking them on normally and then dying. Okay, we'll just avoid these guys. And we- I'm actually kind of nervous here, because if we get into one more battle, especially with the first strike, we're probably going to die. But I think we're scot-free. That's good. Okay, you've heard the music enough. Now I will go heal up. Oh, right, we have to talk to this guy. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Mario. You did a tremendous job. Get it, puns? Cleared off the clouds so the sun can rise once more. It's so nice seeing my dear flower fields full of light again after such a long time. There's nothing like sunlight. Oh, yes, of course. You should plant that magical bean, don't you think? It should grow well now. I'd say the best place for you to plant it would be over there where you can see the soil. Or we can go heal up in Toad Town. And uh, now let us finally plant it. So we have to do the... I believe it's the bean first. Okay, nope. No, we have to soil, then bean, then water. I wasn't sure. Okay. Soil, then bean, then water. Oh ho, success. Look at that sprout. Now you can go all the way to Cloudy Climb. Best of luck, son. Hmm, my spot seems to be getting less and less sunny. How disappointed. I guess I'm dying. Oh well. Okay, now I'm just gonna quickly save because we have something coming up. Spoilers, it's a boss fight. And now we shall go up. Sorry, I'm just being quiet here so you could listen to music. Because have you ever noticed, I'm pretty opinionated on the music on the chapter. It's pretty, like, notable. They're either terrible or just really good. And this is, like, a really good one. There's also the sun theme that's really good. And, yeah, so, and but the, the main theme was atrocious that you have to listen to most of the time. But this is just so relaxing and soothing. Oh, my God. I just want to listen to it forever. But we're going to have to interrupt it. Because we have a giant piece of poo here! That's what I thought as a kid it was. Are you a man named Mario? And did you, did you or did you not break one of the pup pup machine? What possessed you to do that? You completely ruined my plan to cover flower fields in clouds. Did my gamepad die again? It did. You see, I was going to turn this sunlight blaze, blasted place into a cloud covered paradise. But I can't expect a man of your intellect to understand. Wow, shots fired. Is that you, Spike? So you have betrayed me. You'll be punished. I was given this star spirit by King Bowser. I'll never give it up to the likes of you. You will both pay dearly for your crimes. 
And oh my god, it's just a giant ugliness. And this music is also balling! Okay, so starting off, welcome to Huff and Puff. A pretty interesting boss fight. He's actually, like, probably the hardest boss fight in the game. Like, he's not actually the hardest boss fight in the game. That'd go to something else, but at the point you were at, Huff and Puff has given me the most trouble. And he's known to give players the most trouble out of any of the bosses in the game. So I guess that would te technically constitute him as the hardest boss fight in the game. So we're going to power bounce him, because watch what happens. He spawns enemies as you hit him, and great, we screwed that up. Oh well, we'll just switch out to Goombario. So that's what can make him pretty tough. Because the more you hit him, the more enemies he spawns. And we can we can tattle the Tough Puff, but we'll tattle Huff and Puff first. This is Huff and Puff. He's a giant cloud monster. Max HP 60, attack 5, defense 0. This thunder attack is very dangerous. If you don't defend, you'll take massive damage. When you attack Huff and Puff, little clouds called Tough Buffs come out. That's right. The number is based on the number of damage you do. If you leave the Tough Buffs, Huff and Puff will swallow them up and restore his HP. That's right too. You need smart tactics to beat this guy, Mario. Yeah, you do. He's actually really tricky. Thankfully, he doesn't do... Master Huff and Puff, I wish to bummer Mario. Permission to attack? Yes, take him. I think this is the first... Oh no, there's... I was gonna say... Oh god, I thought that... I, I was hoping the Zap Tap badge would be able to like fend them off. But I guess not. I Because they're not like the fuzzies. Because they're actually immune to that stuff. So, thankfully they only have two spawn. And he only restores three HP. But still, this guy is tough. I actually may lose to him. Because I'm at, kind of out of practice with uh, Huff and Puff. And I thought I could beat him, but because of the Zap Tap badge, like, making things less of a worry for me, but not. Okay, let's just see how much we... And I just realized, this is the first time we did pretty well with the Power Bounce. That's the whole reason why I equipped it in the first place, because I thought I would be bad with it. <laughs> but, um, really, I, I'm actually pretty good with it, because I was bad with it in Junior True, but then I kept trying to do it again, and I kept forgetting because of the Spin Jump. But I was doing fine there. Anyway, let's just tattle the Top Puff. These are the Top Puffs that break off when you damage Huff and Puff. Max HP 1, Attack 2, Defend 0. Top Puffs will fly over and attack you directly. You have to shake them off using the action command, or they'll keep on damaging you. Huff and Puff will swallow the Top Puffs to restore HP, so think carefully when attacking. You can beat the Top Puffs by e by easily by, me by attacking all enemies, but then it would sp I could do that, but wouldn't that spawn more? I guess it wouldn't spawn as much as there are right now. Oh cool, thanks pretty lucky badge for helping me dodge that stuff. And now, okay, no, but here comes this really powerful attack. Not as most powerful, but super powerful. The more you mash, the less damage he'll do. I think we can get to four, maybe three, actually. Yeah, there. He only does three, so that's good. Uh, I've gotten very, pretty good at body mashing. So I think what the strategy here is, I think you're supposed to use Lucka Lester here for his AoE attack, but there are ways around that to do even more damage, including Star Storm. I think what we're going to do here is when he gets, like, a lot of tough buffs, like there are right now, we'll spawn them. But no, actually... Uh, yeah, it just got rid of three of them. It's not that much. And we could... You know what I... This is a bit of... This is kind of silly, but we're going to do this anyway. We should have done Bo and then the uh, Star Storm. Because now he's going to spawn a ton. Because Bo does so much damage. I mean, Bo will, does so many hits here. And he spawns one for every hit. But thankfully, he's like has almost half of his HP left. Okay, but now we're just going to have the button match to prevent taking too much damage. But we're going to... Okay. Okay, we took six there. We might have to heal up soon. I'm actually kind of getting nervous. And I may not use Star Storm anymore because I kind of want to save it for Smooch. Yeah, I think I'm going to, like, lay back on the Star Storm a bit. Now he's back to 49. So that's a bit unfortunate. Okay, what are we going to do here? I don't want to use Smack anymore. Actually, you know what? We will. We'll use Fan Smack once more. Then we'll use Star Storm to um, get rid of all the tough buffs so he can't gain as much HP back. Okay, so he's down to 39. Yeah, you can see why Huff and Puff gives so many people headaches, including myself. I was stuck on this boss fight for like a literal year. I talk about how long I'm stuck on boss fights or stuck on things in this game when I was a kid. But this takes the cake. I was stuck on this guy for so damn long, I literally forgot it, uh, I had the game. Until one day I decided, you know what, I'm going to try to beat him. And I could. And there's actually a trick that I figured out what to do. But it's kind of cheap. I'll explain that later. You asked for it. I mean, you asked for it. So you'll witness the full power of my storm. Master Heaven Puff, leave him to me. Oh man, that's the full power of the storm. No, that's not. That's just these tough puffs doing damage to us. But no, we can get rid of it. So when I was a kid, when he would go like this, I would use Scott, uh, Muscular's Chill Out 
to uh, take less damage, but he does 12 damage, so it only decreased it to 9. The main reason why I would do it is so the top plus would do 0, but I thought the st my strategy would be that the um, zap tap would prevent them from doing damage to me anyway, so there's no point. So I wasted my star power before I realized that they can do damage. But regardless, I'm pretty good at button mashing anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to add a sight here instead. That way, instead of taking 9 damage from using chill out, we'll just take 0 here. The only problem is, like, these tough puffs will be out of damage just next turn. But oh well, whatevs. Okay. Now just zap us and do nothing. And man, I should have saved my jam and jelly here. That would have been super useful. So what we're going to do now is, I guess we'll just power back. Oh no, that's not really wise because it'll spawn a ton of... Ah, it doesn't really matter. The tough puffs, I think, do the same either way. Hopefully we don't screw this up. Actually, if we screw it up, there's, like, a good side to that too. Because that means there'd be less tough puffs. But whatever, let's just see how much we can go for. I didn't do too much. Okay. Shoot, this is worrying me. I think we may lose here. Okay, good. Oh, thank you, pretty lucky badge. Oh, but he's going to heal. Uh, I was going to use the AoE to, like, get rid of all of them at once. Uh, he only gains 12 anyway. Okay. Are we going to have enough? Yeah, we're going to have enough for this fan attack badge. Hopefully we don't screw. Okay. Two. Okay, um... Do I want to use the fan attack or do I want to use Paracari's airlift to do? I think the tough puffs will do the same to you regardless. Maybe the button mashing's easier. But if we use Paracari's error raid, he'll just spawn three more from the attack anyway. So just three versus six. The only reason you really want to get rid of the tough puffs is so he can't heal as much. But the thing is, he's not going to heal as much anyway because he just did it last turn. He doesn't do the same attack in a row. Okay. Hopefully we don't take too much here. Oh, crap, and I can't use Smooch either. I should have saved the freaking star power for Smooch, but I can't. Whatever, we'll just use our Super Shroom we have. Oh, man, if I had Smooch, I would have used it right now. If I lose this, ne definitely... Okay, is he going to suck them? Oh, no, he's going to use this attack. Damn, I really wish I had Smooch. Okay, just button mash. I'm going to get the three because we don't want to take too much damage. I think we're going to take four here. Okay, three, 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 three. Yes, okay, three. Oh, this is making me nervous. Okay, our only Super Shroom... Hopefully by next time we need it, we won't have as much to deal with. I know we don't have any flower points for the AoE, so quite a bit of damage left. This is making me super nervous. I think we're just going to have to settle for smack it. It doesn't really matter because anyways, he's, he can't spawn any... Oh, he can spawn a... No, he can't spawn anymore. He's maxed out. Oh, God. Am I seriously going to lose? I thought I... This is the... This, besides the Lava Piranha because I kept failing, this might be the first boss fight I lose to. That's kind of scary. I... Cause, and this is, I'm just being strategic. I just got outnumbered. Just speaks testament to how freaking tough he is. No pun intended. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is we're going to use the maple syrup so we can have enough FP to out of sight. And I think I'm done with the FP spamming. Um, I may just only use it when I want to get rid of a bunch of tough puffs at once. But I'm not going to use it with Mario because he can do six anyway. And with the power balance, he'll do like seven. So that's good. And now use your lightning attack. And, okay, this is a bit of a YOLO move, because I do want to use not... Oh, you can't attack him at once. Whatever, we'll just attack him and do six damage unless we... Okay, good. Okay, he should die next turn, hopefully. Unless we die first. That'd be really unfortunate if we did. Okay, he shouldn't He shouldn't be able to do seven damage. I think he's going to heal, actually, this turn, now that I think about it. Yeah, he's healing. So we don't have to worry about using AoEs. I think what we want to do here is we'll have enough to smooch by the time we're about to die. I think so, at least. What do we want to do here? Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this. And then I'm not going to use Bo's thing because I don't want to spawn a bunch of things at once. I'm just going to use Watt. Hopefully he only spawns one at once. I'm not sure why I'm worried, because again, I think it does the same damage no matter- I don't think it affects how much- Oh crap, I missed that. I screwed that up. Oh well. Yeah, it's the same thing we're Okay, we're dead. Shoot, we're gonna lose. I'm gonna lose the freaking Huff and Puff! Great! Thought I- This would never happen- Okay, good. That's- Wow, I've, I didn't think I'd be so happy that he would do nothing. Okay, I think we can actually end him this turn. So we do Star Storm. Oh no, we can't because he's freaking zapped, so... Hmm. Okay, Star Storm will leave him with... 
eight. We don't have anything to do eight. Yeah, we can't win this turn. Whatever. We'll just Star Storm anyway, because we're going to die anyways if we don't do it. Our only play here right now is to use Star Storm. And I'm actually having... I, I actually forgot how hard this boss fight was. Like, Jesus Christ. I've, I've nearly died so many times, but I think I actually won this. Because watch what we're going to do here. We are going to use Bow, and we're going to out of sight. The next turn, we should be able to finish him off. And I could have been a bit smarter about this, less cocky. Use the, the OG uh, chill out st uh, strategy, which really doesn't fail me. Or done something else. Or we could have just not attacked so much and just been a bit more conservative or sort of things instead of being completely aggressive. But anyway, we're about to win. Because, watch, unless we screw up this, because that would suck. Okay, we're actually, no, I think we're going to win anyways. Okay, good. And now, we're going to let Lucka less. Oh, wait, what? Oh, crap! I should have used the power bounce! No! I should have used the power bounce! I forgot that bow doesn't have the attack! That's a game over, folks. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna be a bit more conservative this time, as I said. We're not gonna use any more star spear, star power to uh, use AoEs, because I think the more damage he takes, the more clouds he spawns. I'm not quite sure on that, but we're gonna have to see. So I think what we're gonna do, actually, we might actually, you know what, we're actually gonna do that. I, even though I said we're not, we will, because mm, I can't really make up my mind. Because I'm thinking, do we use the fan smack, then use the star storm to get rid of a bunch of them? I think we will do that, actually. Uh, actually, no, I want to save the... No, we're going to do something a bit different instead. We're going to use Power Bounce right now to uh, do a bit of damage. Okay, as long as we do more... Okay. Damn it, we did the same amount as a normal jump. Uh, so that was a waste of FP. So I think what we're going to do here is... I think the less damage he takes, the less clouds he spawns. So it's actually pretty useful that that um, Lucky Lester sucks right now. Because he won't spawn that much. Oh, never mind. He still... Oh, he spawns two instead of three. Whatever. I'm still not going to use this. Uh, I'm not going to use Star Spirit Power because we're going to need Smooch because that will be a bit more useful because of how, the, how much damage we freaking take. Oh, man. He's healing him up right away. I didn't expect that to happen so soon. Okay. So, what do we want to do here? I can't use... Nah. You know what? He just healed up anyway. It does the same damage regardless. We'll just use Bo's Fan Smack to just do some damage and then we'll use the normal jump attack just to save some FP so we can... Do a, so we can save some for later instead of now. Because anyway, even if we do the power balance right, he'll it'll only be like, what, two extra? No, we'll just jump. Should. Yeah, because he'd still take six. And okay, so. Yeah, 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 you've said, you've given me this whole spiel before. I'm just gonna mash A. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is he's gonna light up with electricity because he always does that and now what we're gonna do is we'll just jump on him because we have the zap tap badge anyway so we can't take damage from it thankfully at least the zap tap is useful for something and now we're gonna add a sight to prevent us from taking like tons of damage and then next turn we'll probably use like a lester or Paracari to to finish him off i mean to get rid of all the oh no we can't do that so we'll have to use hmm this is interesting Sucks Mario doesn't have an AoE attack right now. We can't use our party members to... I remember that this time. We can't use our party members to uh, kill them at once. So Hub and Pub's probably going to heal this turn. Whatever, we'll heal too, because why not? We could use Star Storm to get rid of a bunch of them so he heals less. But I'd rather just smooch it up, because I really want to save my star power. Because it's a lot less risky than using Star Storm. Okay. Now we'll mash A. Hopefully we shouldn't take too much damage. Actually, I think it does affect how much damage it does. I think it does affect the easiness of the action command. Not qu Don't quote me on that, though. And, yeah, he's going to heal up, like, what, like, 18 damage or so? That's, uh, yeah, wow, I got that right, 18 damage. We shouldn't let him spawn so much tough buffs, but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so, we'll just let him spawn a crap ton right now. I don't want to use power bounce, or should I use power bounce? Nah, I'm going to conserve FP. Because we can't do too much anyway. And now we'll just get him back to where he was before. By using Vansmack. And he won't use the healing. 
heals right away anyway because he doesn't like to, he likes to spread out his, his attacks instead of using it at once and i'm sorry about my like nervous commentating i'm just genuinely nervous this is my genuine reaction to how this stuff is going about because i don't want to lose twice in a row i actually want to win i hate the fact that i'm losing so much oh shit he's gonna oh he's just using his puff puff attack or whatever you call it i'm gonna call it his huff puff attack because that's his name now we just have to mash eight to do three and i'm talking so fast and i probably shouldn't Oh, he only did, he did four. Okay. Now we will switch to Lucky Lester so we can get rid of all these freaking tough puffs. But first we'll use Mario to attack so we can do some damage. And then we'll have Lucky Lester get rid of them all and spawn like maybe two. That way if he heals up, he won't. He'll only heal like four. Okay, there you go. <laughs> and it saves FP too. So that's good. Not only does it spawn less, but it saves FP as well. Oh no, two. Yeah, it doesn't make a difference with the button mashing, I realize. And we'll probably use Smoosh next turn just so we can get a bit more. Man, if only we... Okay, he's gonna do that. So, we'll just Smooch it up. Oh, shit, we can't. Crap. I think what we'll do is we'll focus on our thing so we can get Smooch back pretty soon. And, yeah, so next turn we'll have enough to Smooch it up. And now we will use Bow to hide. Because that's what we need to do. So we can avoid the attack. And oh, Bo can't fan smack anyway. Oh no, that's because we don't have the FP. And I don't think we're gonna... I think we're just gonna rely on normal attacks now. We'll use the Maple Syrup if he thunderclouds again so we can avoid it. There we go. Okay, so that deals with that. And remember, we only have Mario's turn. And now we can smooch it up. So that's good. We won't... Because that way next turn we can just... um, We can just use... I think we'll have... I think his... Uh, Spike Storm does too, so we gotta get rid of them all at once. And then, yeah, I, I'm sorry, just my brain is super scrambled right now. Okay, go, we missed. I know, what are you gonna do? Okay, good, you're gonna heal up, cool. So now we don't have to worry about you. Okay, so now... Crap, I don't... Whatever, we'll just jump on him anyway, and hopefully we have enough to um, Spike Storm to get rid of all of them at once. So he doesn't... But he's not gonna heal up anyway, whatever. We'll just fan smack. Makes more sense now anyways, because he <coughs> doesn't have much. Then next turn... We'll use the, um, the Spike Storm attack. Man, this is just me being super strategic right now, because I am trying to win here. I think we will win here, but this is how hard this boss fight is. Every other boss fight's been a walk in the park for me, just so much strategy. But now I'm just thinking really deeply on what to do here, because I don't like losing. Okay, we'll attack you, so we can just, yeah, just so we can do some damage, and then we'll out of sight you. Okay, 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 I'm pausing the video to wonder, why the hell didn't I finish him off this turn with Watt instead of using Out of Sight? Oh my god, I don't know what's wrong with past Jared. This is what I get for being nervous. Ugh, god, I'm dumb. And I guess we won't have enough for Spike Storm next turn anyway. And it sucks because we can't even- oh, we'll win next turn anyway, because he only has 2 HP left. So we won't have to worry about using a partner, and he's gonna use this Thundercloud, and then we'll finish him off, thank god. Oh God, I have, to, I have to be honest. I've been, I've kind of said that a bunch of times, but I've been super nervous. Whatever. Heaven Buff, thank you for flying Jared Airlines. We have to see you again. Oh my God, that was hard, but I'm glad we did it, even though it screwed up my commentary a lot. No, I can't lose. End of chapter! So it is that Mario and Party defeated the cruel cloud Hufflepuff and set free the Sixth Star Spirit. The thick clouds that once cast the sh dark shadows have gone, and Flower Fields is bathed in sunshine again. A single Star Spirit waits to be rescued, waits to take its place in the Star, star Sanctuary. Perhaps you will see Princess Peach soon, TM. Perhaps. Just wait and see. Cammy Koopa, who watches impatiently from Bowser's castle, is waiting too. For you to try to save them. Oh, now it ends.